Uh, William Thomas Brett, uh, sonar technician, second class. First ship I was assigned to was the USS Norris, DD-859, out of Newport, Rhode Island. I was on board that for almost, well, a little, just about four years. I was on it the day that it got decommissioned. Uh, and uh, a ship for anybody that was actually in the service, a ship is like, uh, you don't realize it at the time, but it's sort of, it, it's your home. You're there 24-7 for the most part. And uh, when it got decommissioned, most people had tears in their eyes that day. It was like you, you lost a family member, what it was like. And uh, it's something that you don't ever forget. It was really emotional when the day the ship got decommissioned because it really get, it gets to be like a mother for you, the whole ship. And, uh, the day it gets decommissioned, that's when it really hits you, you know. So what a great place that was, you know. It's like uh, losing, a, losing a parent, same idea. Uh, it went in the most ball fleet in Philadelphia, and a few years later, it uh, got transferred to the Turkish Navy. And I believe it was like 1990-something before it got scrapped out of the Turkish Navy. The Norris got decommissioned in December of 1970, and I went to another ship, the USS Dealey, which is a DE, a small Dealey. I was only on board that about six, eight months, and then I had gotten out. But uh, from there, I went to, I had, uh, had background in television and radio repair. And when I first got out, I, I ended up uh, doing TV and radio repair, and then uh, I gradually ended up going to work for, for IBM. And I worked for them for quite a few years. And uh, between the two places, you know, I gradually uh, retired from, you know. And I worked part-time for a GM dealership toward the end because I wanted to be close. My parents were getting in bad shape. And, I had to spend more time, you know, closer to home. Well, you run, you run all your exercises there. They do just about every kind of test that they can that the ship should be under, as far as being watertight and things like that. All your communications, and you go out and you play your war games, and uh, you basically you're testing every piece of equipment that's on the ship, is what it is and whether you pass or not. That's, that's what the whole thing is about. And in other words, to be war ready, I guess you could say. And that takes you to about three months of shakedown because that's how long you're there and you're usually in and out every day. So that ship was, a, was only a DE, which was a little bit smaller, but it was basically, otherwise it was the same as the first ship. But, uh, I didn't really have, most of the time I was on board that, it was, a, we were in, in port. And uh, it was going to be uh, getting underway to uh, go to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And I had the privilege of being there once, and that was enough. They called them shakedown cruises, but it, the weather was just so hot down there. I just, you know, you were actually glad to go to sea each day. Uh, so I didn't want to go down there because I only had about a month left and they transferred me over to uh, the tender that was in Newport at the time. I finished my time and service out there. 